JD from the University of Trials. And as we sit here right now, 49 is a 10 and 1. Like, this, this is secondary to the fact that my Niners are playing well. I need to put on a hat. We go. Now I feel good. Now I feel good. All right, warm up, and then I got some cool stuff to talk about. I gotta wait for people. Wait for people to wait to wait to people to turn up. Wait for people to turn up. Anybody? God, I have words. Anyway, I I might play this again. Um, I hope everybody's well. I hope I release this on YouTube. Like, I don't know, in less than a week. Yeah, by the time this is out, the 49ers have either won or lost the game. Oof. Yeah. There's like two people that come into this chat that care, but I, whatever. This, Hopefully you've realized by now this channel is about, like, what I want to talk about. But you can join me for the ride. So it's been fun. It's been a crazy week. Uh, yeah, very, very, very busy outside of trials life life so it's kind of nice i enjoy my friday nights i get to kick back relax drink some water with bubbles in it that is my drink of choice today and uh play some trials hopefully and let's see let's see if i have to restart my game as i tend to have to do pretty much every time and any annihilic any heal it <sighs> James Hello G'day I feel like I still use G'day quite a lot. It's kinda of weird, like it feels it feels like kind of an old schooly kind of thing now almost, but I say G'day all the time. It's awesome. Oh why do I have to wait every time? Every time. Oh, is yeah, I don't know. Someone I thought someone gave me a theory as to why this takes so long the first time. Is it just a leaderboard thing or something? I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? Let's start it again. And then we start the stream. See what I should do Annihilex. The H is silent. Well I mean Is there anything more stupid than a silent letter? Let's try it for the third time. Mar Martin! Good to have you back. Yeah, that's what it is. It's the ghosts. Awesome. Really, really happy about that. Slipknot! How you doing? No, but it's weird that it does it. It only does it the first time I boot up the game, and then afterwards it's fine. Like, I play the rest of the stream now with no issues, but I have to do, like, a full, like, reset cycle every time I start the game. Because I don't play it. Like, in between streams, I don't play it. Actually, I don't play my Xbox. I haven't played my Xbox. I haven't played video games for a week. Damon, good to have you back. I'm like this really passionate video gamer that doesn't play video games anymore. That's what I've become. Uh, excited? I'm not sure, man. I mean, it, it, it's Xbox specific for me, but I don't play on any of the platforms these days. My PC version is still corrupt, and my PlayStation copy never got played. Fair 24 hours. Yes. That is, see, see that? I could get behind that. I could get behind a fair 24 hours. Slipknot, I'm good, man. Really good. I need to... Uh... So, what I wanted to do is play this uh, fair... Uh... Speaking of fair day, fair 24 hours, let's go to the fair and play Groundhog Forever. Yeah, that might make sense. Whatever. Yeah, it should be fine now. Every time. Every time. There we go. Metho Drinker. I have met him in real life. But, oh. Wow, that's not normal. Alright, let me get my audio levels right. 
because it has been a, a little while. Okay, so this sort of slidey start, you kind of want to go a bit slower, actually. Ah, I forgot. So I hope everybody's having a lovely Friday. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, it is Friday by this point for everybody else. If we have any Americans here, I hope you uh, had a thing yesterday, which was like, from what I can tell, just a day to eat turkey. A turkey day. I hope you had a good turkey day. Now I'm thinking about Thanksgiving because I just finished watching the Thanksgiving football game. This start and those flames at the start are very annoying. I do not remember this track at all. Ugh. Come on. For, what are you doing at 5 o'clock in the morning? Like, sleep. Like, watching some bloody Aussie bloke playing trials can't be worth it. Seriously. Um, Damon, yeah, with cash. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that's the answer. Yeah, when my Acorn stash is uh, evaporated, I'll have to figure that out. Let's see, I was a good squirrel. I stashed my acorns. That sucked. Oh, nice save. Oh, yep, yep. I don't even know what that was. Good, 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 good. I thought that was going to be personal best. Oh, I've already got plowed on this. Oh. That track is the second. That, that track feels like it was built by two separate level designers. And the first one was made by someone who likes speedruns, and the second one didn't. Only used acons on the track. Yeah, I got 90. You can't see behind my logo, but I got 90 left. So, yeah, but I, I bought some stuff stupidly because this is a problem at the start of the game. It's like, I've got all these acorns and nothing to do. I'll just go and blow them on some stupid cosmetic thing. And now you're like, oh, I probably should have kept them. That's all good. It's all good. Let's play something else. Let's play. So I do have, I do have some stuff I want to talk about tonight. But I'll wait a little bit longer. Play some tracks. Play some tracks I haven't spent much time on, to be honest. Oh, Damon, you're getting new Xbox. Oh, One X. That's what I'm playing on right now. I'm showing you the controller like you can tell. It is, the, 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 the One X controller is a little bit different, but yeah. I'm assuming in this small view, you're not going to be able to tell that. This, this track looks spectacular. What a, what a horrible start this is. Oh. I haven't spent any time on these tracks. Well, actually, if you watch the stream, you know, I haven't spent any time on anything, because... 
Um, yeah, okay. The One X controller is just black, but the the like the Xbox logo thing here, on the regular ones it was like chrome, and on this it's kind of a lot more like a matte matte gray. Greek Panther. Go Niners. Good to have you here. Oh, idiot. Uh, yeah. See, I don't mind extreme tracks that have a horrible first checkpoint because it's the first checkpoint, right? Like, you kind of... You just get it out of the way and even if it's a little inconsistent, like, I think, like, Inferno 3 was kind of like that, right? It kind of... It was inconsistent, but once you got through it, the rest of the track was fine. Extreme tracks that have a hard, like, ninth checkpoint? Just torture. Nah, I'll be honest, who was asking me that? Uh, Annihilate Lexi? Um, I don't go back. I, I only go back for like a little nostalgia trip to go back to like Fusion or any of the old games. Um, once the new game's out, I play the new game. That's kind of it. Like I will. I go at one point, like, you know, a year from now, I'll go and play Fusion or something for a bit of fun. Oh yeah, yellow belt first CPs. Oh, is, it is it yellow or orange? I thought orange was the bad one. I thought yellow was alright. Nah. Oh, Frank is here. Say hi, Frank. Um, so what do I need to do for platinum on that? Shave off like two minutes. <sighs> Yeah. See, I'm getting really bad in my old age here. Because I've still got basically all the DLC plats. I've ha all the DLC extremes. I haven't really got plat. That's pretty lazy. See which one I'm close to. Nope. Ooh, maybe? Let's check it out. You go back to Fusion sometimes? Yeah, I'm, I can see it, but I just, yeah, I like, I just feel like by the time I, a new game comes out, I've played the other one so much. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Oh, Shadow Walker's here too. How you doing? Yeah, it's even at a point now, like, I don't, I genuinely don't even remember. Oh, this, okay, sorry. I was about to say, I don't even remember the track. This is the one with the worst checkpoint in the game. I hate little things like this that trip you up. Where you're just like, really? Could I seriously just fault on that? And then things like that where I should have just taken my time. And it's funny, but I don't know what the other track is. But there is a... Oh, see, see, how... How do you do this consistently? Is it a, is it a rear wheel bounce? Is that... Yeah, it's got to be that. Okay. <sighs> no, it's like, yeah. I, I think the, I think look, the, the part of the challenges that right, uh, sorry, the fusion had <coughs> was it. There was a number of things that weren't there when the game first released, 
Well, my biggest, you know, and it, it, like it, the game was fantastic, but the, one of the biggest challenges I think it had is it just, it, it tried to implement a story and this like consistent aesthetic. It was like, I don't know, it, fe it felt like it sort of, it stifled some of the creativity of the level designers because it didn't allow the variety that a game like this. And like this, this game, they were just like, man, you know what, Le level designers, go nuts. You want to create a, you know, frozen wasteland with a boat in the background and like ice that cracks under your wheels and like, yeah, go do that stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess we're doing this again, but I, partly because I feel like there is, there should be an extreme platinum in some of these tracks. Oh, that's right. This is actually hard to get, even if you slow down. So I'd like to get a platinum on this. So what's the trick there? Just slow down. Same thing here. I'm just going to go slow, because... Oh, but every time. this game <sighs> nope didn't even make it nope didn't even make it that's right let me just figure this track oh and then this thing's stupid too because you got such an awkward like spin here Because you, I'm trying to think, do you have to lean forward? So once you grip the back wheel, you have to lean forward and like slow down. Ah, oh, this track. I got. I'll give him credit, man. The. And I guess I just probably haven't spent enough time on them to really, like, work these tracks out yet. Yeah, I know, I know, I know Haunted, it's just never been a technique I've, uh, bothered learning. So front flipping to get the grip. Like, I get the physics behind it. But I'm also, I'm very much a, a teacher of, uh, do as I say, not as I do. So, a lot of the time, I, I won't take my own or your advice. I'll just stubbornly persist. Mm. The less said about those uh, FMX, the better. Yeah. It is funny. Every now and again, you bump, you come across someone who's like, oh, I really wish they brought that back. Like, really? Really? See if I could recover that. <sighs> All right. So you want you want me to practice this front flip thing here? No. See, it's not consistent. Yeah. 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 That, I overdid it, or underdid it, as the case may be. That's what I want. 
wanted. Get up there, you sh stupid game. Like I've got, I know, I know what I'm trying to do. That one. This is not fun. No, it's not true. The struggle is real. But this is uh, how trials people relax on a Friday night. Is that weird? Anyway, I hope. Uh, Everyone is that everyone that is hanging out is enjoying their Friday day. And I get really impatient with some of these things as well. Tell the second I took off from that. Second I took off from it, I was like, I'm not making that. Oh, you can excite. Which which one was your last one, dude? I can't remember. But hey, GG's in the chat for uh, Mr. Excite for gold on all extreme. That's huge. Hey, Rubber Dave. Thank you for the GG's. Mr. Excite appreciates it, I'm sure. Idiot. I need to go slower. No, I got cocky. Just get the checkpoint. No one else cares. Just get the checkpoint. Overshot it. You idiot. I was going to say, is it worth trying to recover from here or just... I mean, I think it is. Oh, 10 second penalty. Like, that just kills you. And this thing, this thing, there is no way I can do that consistently. Not yet, anyway. Like it, it's just such an awkward angle. Like this is such a bad obstacle. And I say that, yeah, like you can do that and then you're fine. Wowzers. Yeah, I, just, I just can't figure out the technique to get this flip. So if anyone's got any tips, yell them out in chat. It's not a front... Is it a front flip? Wingman! How you doing, dude? So it's almost like I just break on the way down. I hold break there to like let the wheels get underneath me. So let me just figure this out. So I go up here. 
We go underneath the whole brake when my back wheel hits, but then lean forward. But not too much. Oh, like it's 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 a really annoying obstacle. Yeah, you kind of need to bounce with your back wheel, and then you sort of catch yourself and regrip here. Yeah, you just just that first tap with your back wheel, and then let go of the brake. Drop sooner. So you mean like let go of the? Ah, oh, oh, like no. So that doesn't leave you with much room to. With much. Oh, there you go. Okay, that that worked better. Don't swing all the way. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. Ah, so that's the trick. Yeah, okay. So you kind of just want to drop. Yeah, you don't want to actually get. You don't actually. Oh, you don't really want to get a good hook on this. You kind of just want to like half hook it. It's like a lazy hook. We call it a lazy hook. You still want to spin fast, but. Yeah. I'm going to go lazy hook. It's a far more technical track than I remember. But then, like I said, I haven't actually tried to get platinum on it, for example. Okay. Hey, Bubbug! Bubbug! Just realized I need to put my air conditioning on because this room with the lights and everything gets hot. Hot. Uh, it's 30 bucks. Yeah, of course it's a good price. I mean, if you already own the game, then it's probably 30 bucks you probably should just keep in your pocket. If you don't own the game and you want it, then 30 bucks is pretty good. I was talking to someone yesterday buying a 20, 20, was it 26 Australian on uh, Switch. My cousin was talking about buying it, I think. So, yeah. All right, I'm going to get um, air conditioning. One second. I'll be back. <coughs> Oops. Sorry. Better. Sorry. Sorry for killing your lobes. Any drums. Um, so, I do have something cool I want to talk about. But, I think I want to get platinum on this first before I have that conversation. So, I'm going to write down what I want to talk about. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I have a really bad memory, and when I stream, I think you've figured this out by now, but I just talk nonsense for like two to three hours straight. Uh, 
I have to remind myself. I have to leave myself some little notes. Um, no, look, I, I've got no inside information in it, except for the fact that I'm pretty sure that was... Uh, it's always been the case, in the sense that... What, what they will be very... And I think people... I don't know, yeah. I'm, look, I'm not going to try and defend anything. I don't, like, whatever. That's a company that I don't work for. Is, uh, choices are their choices, right? But the... What they always do with, when they communicate the season pass, they're always really clear. They're like, look, we're going to... The season pass includes this, this, and this. And I guess from their perspective, they're like, well, look, we've given you what the season pass said it included. If we then make other things, then that's not in the season pass. And I think what... Look, rightly or wrongly, we've kind of gone, oh, season pass means everything forever. And it in the dev's eyes it's like well no that's not what we said so I mean my stance on this stuff is you make an informed purchase decision and if it's not right for you if that's not what you want if that's not what you like if you don't want to spend the money don't there's so many other cool games out there and so much on track central I'm sitting here getting nervous, and this isn't even a good run. Oh, this, I can't do two faults here. Or more. Yeah, I mean, look, Wingman, the, the concert, I hate this track so much. I don't, it's an awesome track. Um... The concept of worth and value are personal things. And that's the other thing, right? It's not worth it to you, not worth it to someone else. And that's the cool thing about downloadable content. It's a choice. Yeah, look, I, I, look, I mean, for me, I'm like, you know what? I've got Acorn sitting in my account. If... You know, they want some acorns for it. I'll be honest, I'd rather spend acorns on tracks than I would. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my conversation. So there, there was a conversation that I wanted to have uh, later in the stream, but I'm gonna start it now because I think this, I can make this be relevant and also cover up some of my frustration for this track. Um, I do think, I do think paying for tracks is a good idea however my view is and this is something i would like to uh explore a little bit more is what we should be doing is paying track central track creators for their creations now that's not likely to happen in game that's not what i'm talking about what I think we should be done, I've been thinking about this. There's a couple of reasons. I'll, I'll expand on it once I am done, and I think I'm going to be done with this track soon, to be honest. I'll expand on this a little bit later, but... Yeah, I, I have been thinking about this over the last couple of days for a couple of different reasons. And sort of thinking, well, hang on. We, we get so much, especially from... I'm talking like the, the, the top builders. I'm not saying everybody gets, you know, everyone gets a very... Gets something Oprah style. But when I have a look at some of the, the really well-known, like the track creators that are really well-known in the, in the community, the track creators that everybody looks forward to their tracks, that they talk about them, they share them, they play them. Like, you'll come in here, and not many of you, but some people will come in here and, you know, throw some bits or a sub or something, and it's always really appreciated. But I kind of thought about it. I was like, well, hang on. I, I'm kind of, you know, I get something out of this and people appreciate my contribution to the trials community and that's great i appreciate it but i'm like but hang on there's dudes that are spending 40 50 60 hours yeah you know, building tracks over a month or two uploading them for free and they get recognition and not much else and i'm like that doesn't seem to make sense right so i kind of feel like and, may, and again, I don't think you're going to get anything official here. 
but I would love to see all of the track creators have a, you know, a little bloody donate button, even if it's just on their profile, or if you use Ninja Central, or if you put something up on Discord or whatever, and just have a little donate button. And for the people that genuinely, and look, it's not going to be for everybody, but for the people that genuinely, like, appreciate your tracks and love your work and really get a, a lot of enjoyment out of it, I'd much rather see us spend that kind of money, right? Chuck a, you know, if you if you sit there and you search for someone's tracks because you really like them, you know, chuck them five bucks. I reckon that'd be awesome. Yay! So maybe that's just my little pipe dream, but uh, and maybe 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 parts of it's already sort of starting. I don't know, but. I just feel like uh, we, we actually, as a community, have access to all of that information. People can set up a, a you know, a PayPal donate button like it's nothing. Uh, we know who the track creators are. We could use a Discord or a, I mean, I don't know, like I said, Ninja Central or Discord or somewhere to be like the official place where you at least knew that you were, you know, contacting and supporting the right creators. Um, but yeah, once, I mean, we, we can, that's, that's within our grasp as a community. So I don't know, what do people think? Is that is that weird? I mean, I, I, I woke up, this, I was at 6 o'clock this morning sitting in bed thinking about this, going, hang on, what's stopping us? What's stopping us from doing this ourselves? And how awesome would that be to recognize the amazing creators that are doing stuff for us? Alright, Shadow Walker with switch triggers. Yeah, man, I get it. Um, totally fair. Um. Yeah, Rubber Dave. Season passes are deliberately na deliberately named because seasons end and give way to other seasons. Yeah, that's right. Um, Fatal Dragon is here. How you doing? I'm fantastic. Hope you're all good, mate. I'm really good. I'm frustrated with this track, and I feel like I've made zero progress, even though I am figuring out some stuff. But. I just had my little brain dump of a thought that I had, and it's only been a sort of shower thought over the last couple of days. Um, and I'll tell you why once we get into... Uh, I'm going to spend quite a bit of time on Track Central today. I'll tell you why. Um, Alright. Yeah. Excite, I absolutely agree with that suggestion, but that's not going to happen in game. There are... To the, I, I've heard about this in other game franchises, I'm pretty sure that there are some, uh, like, pretty, yeah, there, there's reasons why you can't, ju well, it's not easy to do just within the game. Um, like, if everyone was on Twitch, and then, you know, you could pay through bits or something through Twitch, cool, but that depends on you actually being available but yeah you're right look look a donate button within the game would be fantastic but that's i doubt that's ever going to happen so yeah it was it was more just a like given how and look uh, it's not going to be much but it's just a, a token gesture maybe but yeah i, ju I just feel like um it would be kind of cool to say thanks as a community and maybe it's not and this is kind of where i th you know i kind of look at it and say okay well you know can i play a role in that like can we feature somebody right like i did my my charity drive and I don't ever want this channel to be about you know me trying to make money from people but I've always said I want to sort of support this community and help grow it but part of that I feel like is acknowledging the contribution of some of the real passionate and hard-working community members and trying to get some level of community backing and if that means yeah trying to you know promote some people or you know share some donate links around I forgot I forgot Lazy flip. Oh, you sh stupid. Now I don't even remember the track. Yeah, but in all seriousness, would, would, would people, like pe people that are avid uh, track central people would you throw would you throw five bucks at someone and just be like hey man thanks for the tracks really appreciate the effort you're putting in love your tracks look forward to new releases every time they come out like I think that'd make some track creators days how I mean that 
What? <sighs> Alright, I'm not doing any. Shadow Walker, you're on board. I like it. Oh, so that's a, see, that's a good one. Even just giving track creators, a, I mean, the problem is track creators getting acorns. I mean, yeah, it's 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 a start. I guess what that means at least is that they'd get any track packs and stuff for free. Yeah, I mean, but I guess they could just gift them, couldn't they? I don't know how that works. I've never received, like, acorn codes and stuff, but I'm assuming they do that. Anyway, I'm going to leave this. I'm done with this track. I'm not making any progress on that. Yeah, see, Sam Sammy, right? And this is the thing. I, like, I don't want... I don't want to start to create this whole, like, economy within uh, Track Central stuff, but I, I kind of... I just, I just feel like as a community, if if... Yeah, we, I, I feel like with a little bit of organization, we could sort of get behind our track creators a little bit better. So that's that's kind of my idea. So if anybody wants to take parts of that, I mean, this is a, you know, this is a democracy of sorts, right? Um, yeah, but uh, have a think about that. Talk to people in the community. Start to, you know, yeah, like I said, I just, I think it'd be good to have a centralized place where we can identify a sort of a top creator's have some, you know, verifiable way to say, yes, that's actually their donation thing and that's what they're they're requesting we use if we wanted to donate something. And then, you know, let's use it. Um, now, th now, is that... I don't, I don't think that does anything untoward and I don't think is, you know, like I said, I, I see my role as someone that really just wants to support this community and it really, to me, it's just a way of saying thanks. I mean, people send me bits and what not on here. I get donations from time to time. It's like, it's the same thing, right? So, but instead of, you know, they, they're not the one, they're not going to sit on camera and talk. They're going to make something, but either way, you're still being entertained. Or at least you're just listening to me, but you might be entertained by their tracks. Anyway, um, post comments and show where other people faltered on a track kind of like super mario maker dude i wanted them to do like um super meat boy you know how after you finish a track it then has a replay of all the faults i reckon that type of concept in trials would be insane um yeah that, that was always what i'd love to have done i think because of i think super meat boy kind of worked because oh, i guess it's still had a moving camera so you probably could have done it you probably could have. i mean i don't know People, people are so annoyed by not getting stuff for free and just look at down votes for tracks where you can tell a lot of work went into it. It's really not the best encouragement seeing the first votes after uploading. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. The main message of this is love your track creators. Send them a message. Honestly, even just send them a message would be really appreciated, but I love for some of the really good track creators and some of the, the well-known ones to just have, you know, in their Twitter bio, have a donate button, have a link. They'll do it in Twitch. They'll do it in Discord. Just have some place where you can go to. And it's like, you know what? This track creator has been awesome. I really like his stuff. I, you know, his or her stuff, I guess. And I just want to throw throw a couple of bucks at him just to say thanks. So, yeah, help me out. How how do we make that happen? How do we uh, how do we figure that out? And speaking of, so, the purpose is, oh yeah, so the first part of this stream was I wanted to talk about that stuff. And if anybody wants to get behind... That initiative, and I, I kind of feel like I, I should do more with it. Let's say, um, so I, I may. Um, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now is link a video and talk about a dude that I think could use some help. So for anybody, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Where is the actual link? Uh, give me one second.
Um, all right. So, uh, look, all, all I will do then for the purposes of this conversation. Uh, one second. So, Trials Community Dude, who has been around for a long time. I'm just going to have a look. At the... I'll include you in this. At the moment, this is all just happening in my head and on the second screen here. So, give me a second. I will... Uh... You just talk amongst yourselves while I just ramble here for a second. Um... I can't even find whatever. Anyway, um, for anybody that knows Murdoch, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna say you know what, go and check out Murdoch's website. Go and check out his Twitter timeline is probably the best thing. So look, I'm gonna send. I'm just gonna post this in chat now. Um, Murdoch's been making a whole bunch of tracks. Trials community dude for a long time. That's his Twitter account. Go and check that out. Um, yeah, all I'm gonna say is fallen on some hard times, and he he was he was actually kind of the inspiration for me to start thinking about supporting track creators, someone that's you know doing it a bit tough at the moment, but has also um, yeah put a lot of content out in the community. So I started thinking about him, and then started thinking about a whole bunch of other people. So all I will say is go and read that, uh, have a look at his Twitter timeline. He has posted up some videos. If I can find the videos, oh, I'm doing a bad job. Sorry, Murdoch. Where did I find the buddy link? I watched the video a couple of days ago. So I think Twitchy posted it. I'll get there. Oh, there we go. Cool. That's what I wanted to find. There, you go. there we go. All right. So. Uh, I'm going to post a link in the comments. I will put it in the comments of YouTube and I will post it here. Um, there you go. So go and check out, watch that video. And once you're finished watching that video, like I said, look, this is this is not a personal plea. It's really just uh, making a... Ah, whatever. There's a donate link in the comments. Let me just double check the YouTube comments, but I believe there is. And yes, there is. So that's fine. Follow that link if you want to read and understand a little bit more about Murdoch. Um, but yeah, doing it a bit tough, thinking about the dude and thought I'd pass it around. And what I did say to him is that I was going to post that link and also just to, um, again, like I said, shout out to some of the awesome, awesome, awesome community people. I'm going to play some of Murdoch's tracks now. So... I, I did ask for difficulties that I was not going to struggle too much. Let's see. Let's see how well he did. Yeah, I expect they're going to be crazy hard. So there you go. Being repressed. Um, yeah, I've had a good little back and forth with the... Uh, Murdoch over the last couple of days. Um, yeah, like I said, doing it a bit tough. Was asking for a bit of support, so I said I'd show some love. Post a link to the video, and um, yeah, like, like I said, it was sort of, you know, yeah, it just got me thinking about how much time these track creators are putting into tracks and creating things for us, and that we're really, really enjoying it. But, like, there there isn't, unless unless we kind of do something... Oh, uh, there really isn't a, a way to meaningfully give back. So, uh, yeah. And I don't know. Like, maybe people agree, maybe people disagree. Um, and, and look, I'm sure for every person I mention, there's... Oh, that feels like an upper path. Um, there, I'm sure there is a lot of people that deserve a lot more or at least deserve recognition as well. It's less about that. Um, but yeah, I guess I was, I was thinking about it going, you know, it'd be, it'd be cool if, you know, me and other people, you know, made... What the hell? Okay, I was not expecting a helicopter. I'll be honest. 
how does this work? Wow. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, these guys are insane. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, I did, I did post it, Shadow Walker. Yeah, it's so like I said, I, I don't, I don't want to, look, he, he, he will do a better job of explaining his circumstances, so go and watch the video, but. What? What? So I wonder. I mean, this is interesting now. Um, so I said I'd spend a bit of time with these tracks. Uh, I'm wondering, those targets, right? Oh. See, that's such a nice explosion. Like, like it's sort of like on a timed fuse or something. I have no idea how to create it, but I liked it. Nope, nope, nope. Um, hold on, there's a, you see? Oh no, there's, I saw that rope just hanging down, I thought, I'm looking at this now thinking, like, can I interact with everything? But yeah, helicopter? Unexpected, I'll be honest. But, so this is weird. Can you just, like, skip the whole track now? Oh. Because I wonder, I kind of want to hit these, uh, oh, targets. Oh. Like, I kind of feel like something's going to happen if I hit all those things. Oh, no, 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 no. This is insane. Who builds... I'm sorry. Who builds helicopter bikes? Murdoch does, apparently. Yeah, so I don't know. Am I supposed to hit these things or go around? I'm assuming go around them. But then if I'm going to go around, I just stay on top of the whole track. Oh. <laughs> I wonder. Oh. Nope. Hey, Brainstorm. How are you doing, man? I mean... Oh, so there is like fail zones outside. So you must have to... But now I've got to go up because otherwise you hit this thing. I mean, I guess I'm, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to be now. Do I have to just stay close to the house? I love how I call this a house. You guys think I live in a castle now, like this is normal. But like the attention to detail on this is insane. I'm just not sure what I've done wrong. Is there an archer? For real? Yeah, so if I just go here, I'm just going to hit the building. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm at a bit of a loss at the moment. Oh, is it like wind? Do I, 
Oh. oh, do I just... There's like a gust of wind that comes along. You see that? Maybe. Yeah, but there's no meter, is there? No. No, if the... Oh. If there was some limited time I had to fly, maybe I just broke the track. But like, yeah, if you look at something like this, how much time do you think he put into this? Yeah, that bomber, I really like. But like, this feels like a maze. I'm just wondering, is there... No, so there's no lower path here. I thought... I was looking at this... Looking down here, thinking that nah, there's no lower path. Alright. Hey, Julie, what's going on? So, I'm just going to see, is it over or under? It's kind of weird you can do both. So I feel like the way that yellow stuff creeps up on you... I don't feel like I'm doing this track justice because I don't understand the mechanics. Has anyone played this and got through it successfully? That arch is pretty cool. Alright. Sorry, Murdoch. Can't figure that one out. Alright, what was these other ones? Because he gave me a couple of suggestions. So that one was kind of cool though. Uh, fall in line is what we're going to go with next. Fall in a line. Mantis track, I'm already happy. <clears throat> so, while we're sitting here, and I'm randomly playing Murdoch's tracks, um, let me know in chat who your favorite creators are. If nothing else, give them a little shout out here, send your favorite creator a little message. Who are the people's tracks that you really enjoy? Why do you like them? And if you had a chance to, uh, oh, here's a question. If you had a chance to go to dinner or go out for a drink with any of your favorite level designers, and I'm talking community ones now, who would it be and why? And what would you ask them? That's, oh my God, Murdoch, you evil person. Well, it certainly wouldn't be Murdoch for me because would just be angry with him for this obstacle already. <laughs> you ought to see the guy who made Jump 14. Yeah, that guy would be famous. <laughs> it would be pretty cool if they did like watch the channel.
Listen, you don't you don't get to you don't get to talk you get to talk to me every Friday. You know you don't need to do that with me. But Murdoch, you evil evil person. Um, alright, this might take a while. I'm an idiot. I was just assuming I wasn't able to, uh... I was assuming I wasn't able to ride on the ground there. I was. Is he? Do you have to do the sound effects for the sandbags yourself? Because if he does, that's pretty cool. Murdoch! Hey, my friend! Um, oh, nice moving block. I like that moving block. Now look, I, I can't do your tracks justice and I bad at words sometimes, but... Just do this whole thing on my back wheel. <sighs> uh, Fatal, I'll be... I'm probably on for at least another hour. So Murdoch, I've said to people I'll put a link to your... Uh, I think your video in the comments of my video whenever this gets uploaded. Uh, I have already tweeted them out uh, and I just posted a link in chat just now. But um, if you do happen to see my video when this does come out and realize that I've forgotten to put those links, please remind me. But I'll write it down now. Link in video for Murdoch. I'm notoriously bad for just talking nonsense here and uploading the video and not even bothering. So if, any, if, if anyone's watching this video and realizes that the link's not there, please send me a message. Oh, what are you doing to me? Anytime, Murdoch. Anybody that puts time and effort into creating fun for other people for free, it's effectively what you're doing. Um, good people in my books, man. Yeah, no problems, Fatal. I'll see you around, dude. If, if not, I will be... I don't know. I'll be around. I ain't going nowhere. Dude, these obstacles are crazy. Yeah, so if you want a challenge... I think Murdoch's, Murdoch's got you covered in the uh, challenge department if you want this one. <sighs> okay, so I've got to drop down here. Don't... Don't come in here with your this is the easy version nonsense. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Alright? I want to hear this is a ninja level 7 and Shady are doing amazing for making it this far. I want that or nothing. Or just keep quiet. All right, deal.
I will say my relative lack of trials practice is making me a lot rustier sometimes. But the good news is my skateboarding's improving. Slight, not really, but a little bit. But that's honestly the reason why I'm not streaming or YouTubing anywhere near as much because I'm trying to spend a bit more time looking after myself. That's kind of what it's all about. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. They're like, how, how can I make Shady's life hell? I know what I'll do. I'll create a track. Okay. I, say, if I, don't, I saw that button. I saw... Alright. Okay, chat. I'm assuming the button's just a bomb, but do I press the button or not? Yeah, we gotta press it, right? Awesome. Button did not disappoint. Oh. Oh, so your black and white stripes are physics objects. Dude, that's cool. I like that. Oh, no. Wow. So the way I did it the first time was right. That's really interesting, man. Hey, Donut. With a big old stay after class. How you doing, my nutty buddy? I thought that was going to look so cool. Hello, all donutters. What do, you, what do you call your... I call everyone here students. What do you call your people, donut? Sprinkles? I <laughs> see you start a stream. Morning, Sprinkles. That'd be awesome. Pastry chef, that's fair. So just help me, can I recover? We're also nuts. But I read on Twitter that you're not supposed to have any of them this month. This, this is a horrible checkpoint. Murdoch? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I really want to support you, but I can do that while hating you. Like, I, I, am, I am complex. Humans can have complex emotions, and I can do both things at the same time. And you're going to be okay with that. Because what the hell? Like, what is this obstacle? Just that little overhang. If only there was a tutorial in the game. Yeah, this was nuts. And I know, Donut, you're saying that to be nice because you're a freak. Oh, and Donut, I only realized tonight that your, like, bio picture in Twitch is you with the Uni Trials package. That's like cool free advertising for me, so thanks, man. Because I'm sure everyone comes to your channel and be like, Hey, 
What's that sticker on the package you've got? That feels like something I can get behind. What? Murdoch, where do you come up with this crap? Hands below knee level. Love it. I mean... If they weren't, are they just shorts? Hmm. I don't even, I don't even know how to, I don't, like, I don't even know how to get, because you've got to hit that with momentum, so I kind of have to hit, yeah, wow, wow, and is that it, is that the entire, oh no, that's checkpoint five, but that was pretty much the whole track there at the end. That's awkward. <laughs> I can downvote it just to be a jerk. Um, dude, that that was fun. That was that was really cool. Uh, what was the next one you gave me? So, so 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 extravagant shackles. I even like the names. Actually, has any so anybody? Not from London. I'm assuming it's like more broadly like England kind of space. But anyone not from that area traveled to London and heard the names of the suburbs and just giggled and just went like that's fake. Every name is just like ludicrously complicated and like multiple syllables and multiple words and, and it just doesn't feel like it should be a real word. Or like a series of words connected. I can't I can't give you any examples, but just they just like they're cute, but then they're like just weird. Let's see what this shows up. Shack oh, wow. Look at you with the single word. Hey, Chris is here with the quality one. No, I mean, but Australia... Look, if Australia does any of that weird stuff, it's just because... Well, realistically, we're still just a bunch of convicts, right? We're literally just a prison with no bars. So, you still blame them for that. So, that's not my fault. But, like, I'd catch the train. And I remember on well, the, the tube. Well, actually, no, it probably is just a train coming from outside the city. But I could just, every, every stop, like, 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 it'd be like, it'd be this weird, like, giddy, like, giggle, like, giggle. And then, like, a, sh like, a, a shudder. I don't know what to explain. The, the, the names of their, like, train stations made me feel weird. Yeah, Batman's fine. All right, you know what? Screw it. Just, just, just because this is the this is the conversations we get into while I'm rambling. Um, give me a second. I just gotta give you examples, right? So I stayed in a place called Up Upminster, which even that one bit weird. Um, Hornchurch, Elm Park, Dagnum East, oh, anyway, Dagnum Heathway, Beacon Tree. Um, Upney, Barking, East Ham. Fantastic. Like, it's like Bromley by Bow, uh, Devon's Road. Uh, where's some other weird ones? Like some just awkward Shoreditch High Street. Like that's weird. Um, uh, where's some other weird ones? Weird ones. I don't know. Yeah, I gotta find some more for you. 
But anyway, I remember going through that and just thinking that was some weird ones. Bethnal Green. Cambridge Heath. Hackney Downs. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. Barkingside. It's weird. Woodford. I don't know. Weird. Stop being weird, UK. Dude, you made the balloon go when you hit that thing. Oh, and look, it's even attached to the gas bottle. See, that is an attention to detail that not everybody will appreciate, but I will. Anyway, when I heard extravagant shackles, it sounded like a, a London train station. Alright, listen. Wollongong is fine. Wagger is normal. There we go. Stroke on Trent. There, well. Is that real or is that just a suggestion for a... Yeah, I won't say. Banana Shire? Nah, we, we've got a big banana. I don't think there's a banana shire. If we've got a banana shire, I have to just shut up. It, it is kind of funny, right? Like when you grow up with stuff compared to... And he's traveling because, like, Wollongong, totally normal. Like, I lived there for a bit. He's called it the Gong. I lived in North Gong. North Gong was awesome. Dude, Wollongong's a place to be, man. Actually, Wollongong was fantastic because it was like a, like a, basically, it's a, a mining. It's a mining city with a university. So it's kind of got a mix. Oh, wh what? Okay, Murdoch, there need to be something down there to tell me that I can't go down there. There we go. Even you, even while I'm showing love, I'm still going to be critical. That foul zone needed to have something to show that it exists. Yeah, so I worked at the steelworks, but then would hang out with like friends that were at the uni. And they had like uni movies. And I'm pretty sure it was 3 bucks 50 for a double feature, uh, which is kind of, ah, kind of ridiculous value. <laughs> Worst place, Aruga. Really? Go. I've got to say, Murdoch, man, you got some inventive uh, checkpoints, dude. Like, it's not. Like, they're not normal. Hoping that. So that's got to be a killer rear wheel bounce. I was hoping that water jet would push me up. Yeah, Fairy Meadow. That's, yeah, that's that's down in. That's down in the Wollongong. Mind you, yeah, it was a place called Meadowbank. Like, all right, we got weird names too. Shut up. You made your point. But can someone look up Banana Shire? Is that actually... That can't be a real thing. Shadow Walker. Yeah, dude, I was, I was skated there a couple weeks back. That's why I went there. Yeah, actually, I, I, I met a dude. Legit dude that I met on the internet. And we went to Meadowbank Skate Park together. Pretty cool spot, man. Nice good fail zone, right? Yep. You do... That's true. Bodie McBoatface was a moment. Oh. So it's interesting, but your your obstacles benefit from. 
So it's just interesting. It's like you make these obstacles that are designed to not to have a particularly smooth driving line, but then they're only or they're much easier to complete when you hit them smoothly. If that makes sense. No, Banana Shire. I, I don't believe this. And if it is... Banana Shire counts. Come on! The Shire of Opportunity. Where is it? No one cares. Rockhampton. Alright, so that's... Wow. So that's, okay, sort of central Queens... Wow. Alright, stand corrected. My country's weird too. Nah, big bananas in Coffs. Coffs Harbour. Alright, they're all weird names, shut up. Uh, <laughs> like Coffs Harbour. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, actually, finally, I'll be there at Christmas. I'll see the big banana at Christmas. Yeah, people know that, right? Australia has like just a bunch of like big things. Got a big merino, big prawn, pineapple, banana. Just a bunch of big stuff. It was funny. My auntie at one point. This is great. My auntie, she was like, I want to collect. Oh, thank you for that being the finish line. Tea gardens? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to tea gardens. <laughs> no, 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 it's a banana shire. I think it's like a, a region, but yeah, it's near Rockhampton, dude. dude. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. I was just showing you. Oh, sorry, I was just. I was just showing myself. Yeah, it's here. So Rockhampton's up here. This is, this this whole place is banana shire. So it's like, it's banana. <laughs> it's a legit place called Banana Queensland. Um. So yeah, but okay. So that's banana. But it, so I found it from like Banana Shire. Uh, yeah, Banana Shire Council. <laughs> it's like, it's like a council that's like, listen, guys, we know, we know what we're about, okay? Do you want, do you want to talk about our, uh, you know, our farming industry? No, we got a great golf course. No, guys. We make bananas, okay? Let's let's just let's just be who we are. Let's not try and be, create anything fancy. Just banana shire council it is, guys. All right, that's fine. Wow. Um, I kind of want to look for the search of word banana now. This is my favorite part of Track Central. It's literally just freestyling and trying to look. Just pick a random word. And you find... Whoa! Extreme track? Yeah. Yeah. The trials is bumps. Actually, alright. So, I was... I almost made that comment, Murdoch, and that it's like... Um, I, I, I think for some of the obstacles, I was like, yeah, this feels kind of more X-Trials, like using, using like the cable spools and um, yeah, like just more sort of static objects and a bit more stop-start. Wow, this is amazing. So I think they did, they spent the whole time on this track just creating the thumbnail. By the way, how good are hill climbs? I didn't try this track, did I? Or did I see that? Did I seriously see that thumbnail and be like, yeah, amazing? That feels like something I would have done because that's what happened to me again this time.
And let me guess, I got to the first checkpoint and then went nut. Nah, probably not. Typing on Xbox is hard. Yeah, I, dude, I I used to have a chat pad for uh, 360, and that thing was a lifesaver. Um, I'm pretty sure they have them on Xbox One, but I um I don't do enough of it anymore to care. But man, that thing saved me so many times. Oh, dude, Murdoch, get some rest, man. Yep. So like I said, go and watch Murdoch's video. That's about it. But yeah, I'll put a link in. Or someone will remind me to. But yeah, man, get some rest. All the best, buddy. Nope. 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 Yep. Ooh, this is a tricky game. Okay, I stopped. Okay. I'm gonna say... I'm not... Oh. Okay, that's... I've got to climb that. Ooh. Uh, this track isn't as bad as I expected. I'm going to be honest. Um... After the first sort of checkpoint or two, well actually no, after the first checkpoint, I thought this was going to be just like a big troll track. It's, it, I, I, I will say it probably lacks some of uh, Murdoch's flair for decoration, and probably most if not all track creators, but the actual driving line's challenging, I mean it's not, it's not great, but it's not horrible, like... Oh, this is not fun. How? How am I doing this right now? Oh, so Shadow Walker, you're saying you do use the chat pad and you still suck at typing? going to be fun. Or it's going to be the most fun ever. Ah, uh, who's got... I feel like my consecutive bunny hops are reasonable. Considering how much people stroke... Ah, oh, that's like the thing from the movie. Um... Oh, wingman, are you sit No. Don't do it. I would... I would almost rather you not... So I actually, I appreciate you talking to me, but I'd almost rather you not speak to me than type on a remote, remote control. Unless the remote control looks like a freaking full QWERTY keyboard. I, I, I don't want to see it. Um, ooh. I mean...
I like this. Literally just bananas in brackets. Hard difficulty despite what is displayed. <laughs> I gotta play it. Uh, I do like the silliness of some of this. Like, this amuses me. Anyway, if anyone's got any good suggestions of stuff you've seen recently, like I said, shout out to any track creators. If you've seen stuff, you want it. Banana Central. It should have been, right? Yeah, if you've seen any good creators, put some good stuff out. I mean, what, what compels you to make a literally just Bananas track? Because, like, to do this, it requires a, an amount of thought. Like, you can't just accidentally make this. And, like, I get, I get, I get that you're just stamping the same obstacle and whatnot, but... But I almost feel like this was built, like, using other objects, and then they've kind of, you know, redone it with bananas? Which just is a whole nother level. And it's like, if you're going to go to that trouble, why not just make it with, like, you know, steel and wood? So do you wake up one night and be like, Oh, I've got a great idea for a track. No, no, I'm not going to tell you. Just trust me. This will be amazing. Tom! Hi. Pickable me. Good point. Uh oh. Oh, cool. Is that the end? Yes. Alright. I'm gonna give that like three minute three bananas out of ten. Twin fire. I just gotta go middle of the pack with that. I don't like Despite the fact that I played it because it said nothing but bananas. And it didn't disappoint. I just don't know if I like banana tracks. I don't think I want to support and have an overwhelming amount of additional banana tracks. I feel like that might be enough. Like, that's enough. That that right there is enough banana tracks. <laughs> you reckon that was the toilet per Yeah. That could have been the toilet creator. You're right. But see, you don't uncover this stuff if you don't freestyle. Why did I have a skip button? That would be great. I mean... Okay, that obstacle. That... Not even an obstacle. Just a battery in the ground? Nah. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Don't do it. Oh, but... Oh, I guess the track. Sorry, I did search the word bananas. I was going to be all surprised. Like, what are the chances of finding bananas? I mean... I mean, it's not... <sighs> if, if someone makes that, please don't, don't waste your time. Like, go and do something productive. But if somebody makes a track and all they do... He's put make it with uni trials logos um i would probably love it except and i know anything that i say here is gonna and, it, and twin fire is here twin fire is weird enough where they're just gonna go and build this track but it's like uni trials logos and all it is is uphill steps with no custom collisions all right i feel like freestyling give me a word give me a word give me a fun word it's kind of weird but it's likely to turn up something interesting in Track Central. Tooth! See? See, you know how to play this game. Now, to be fair, I'm expecting zero. Yeah, okay. See, that was a little too clever. Sp Dapoon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See spoon? Yes. Yes. Hello. You know it's going to be good when that's a description. 
Why are there no tutorial track packs? There are still some skills that would benefit from a sandbox. <sighs> yeah. The uh, entirety of Uni Trials content was finished, like from a scoping perspective, in like 2017. I don't think it was ever. There was never conversations about anymore. I, and honestly, do you know what? Let me let me be open and honest here for a second. I don't know if I could do it again. Like I would love to, and I would make it work. But the like at the what the hell? The effort that that took, um, I don't know how I did it. I mean, I got a diamond. Neo, you know what? All right. Neo. Is it better than that track? If your tracks are better than that track, I'll play them. But if you hesitate, if you just think, ah, uh, um, stop. I don't want to play them. So that's that's my threshold right now. Oh yeah, wingman, hundred percent. I mean, it's it's next level stuff. It's insane. I actually, um, we had like a secret Santa, like where you basically give like random gifts to people you work with and stuff. And I ended up, I finished up all my gifts and I threw in a Professor Fat Shady shirt. Um, and I ended up having to in a like a conference room of about ninety of my colleagues on microphone and had to actually explain what Professor Fat Shady was. You gotta remember, like I don't make a big deal about this in my like I talk about it a lot, but when I'm at work it's works. I don't sit there and talk and most people there aren't gamers. So, um yeah, it was kind of um it was kind of weird to sort of tell everyone about that and explain who Professor Fat Shady was. It was yeah, kinda of interesting. So, uh, but anyway, um, Neo. Oh, okay. So you you, you did say Neo. Star. Oh, do I have to search by game attack? You gonna make me do that? Yeah, I'm in a video game. I know. Have you regained your top position on Jump Fourteen? I ain't, nah, man. I, look, I, I I was the OG. Look, I was like the first person to break ten seconds of like the hundred meter. Not many people remember me now. But I am the first. Then I get second place. So yeah, I got I got nothing. Uh how do I find you by name? Is it just search? Is there like an advanced? Not that. Not that. Ha okay, how do I uh, Neo, can you send me a name? Like, uh, give me a, a track name. Oh, Miss Rose. I didn't say hi to Miss Rose. Hi, Miss Rose. Um, Alright, I'm going to do, because I was so rude, I rudely neglected Miss Rose. Oh no, I moved my cursor away. You stupid search. Did you win? Oh yeah, you... Oh, oh I've played that already. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Alright, Miss Rose. Your choice. Tell me... Tell me what track you want me to play, and I'm going to disregard you and play on stage on stage of prize. I've got to say, man, Pacifist makes some good stuff as well. Shout out to Oregon Pacifist. Because the design of this is so cool. Um, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get back to you. It's okay. You know I'm not actually rude. I'm kind of just... Just, like, rude for fun. Because apparently... That's the thing on the internet. I don't know. I don't feel like those are, that applause is deserved. Oh, and I hate tracks with like loud noises that repeat when you restart a checkpoint. 
stop it, pacifist. But I guess it's a stage, right? Oh, I get it. I mean, like that right there is just, like that's really nice. Like I'm sorry, but that is a really, really cool looking track. Yeah, you get an upvote. All right, Miss Rose, back to you, ma'am. What do we want? What do we want? We want the second one. So you want blue. JLD 848. For JLD Blue Stage vs. Us. For Miss Rose. And Neo, you never came back with your track. Are you like Googling what your track name is? Tell me what the name of the track is. I don't know how to search by Game Attack. And I'm really lazy. I kind of need to change that pose as well. It's kind of weird. Okay, well that explains the versus comment. Oh, up a path, look at that. Wow, so we've kind of got a rear wheel that whole thing. Oh, that custom checkpoint? Oh, that custom checkpoints are cool. Look at that sad face. Dude, I love those checkpoints. Actually, this, this feels like the slide... Wasn't there a slide track? Uh... Actually, that, that makes a lot of sense. If you can't search by creator, where I talked before, I was like, hey, let me know who your favorite creators are. Well, you probably don't pay attention to who they are because you can't search for them, so that's useless information. However, it's not... Yeah, it's, this is the slide track. Whoever made this made the slide track that I played before. Cool. Bist did... <laughs> really? So does that literally translate to like Neo Stars track? That was a cool track. That's pretty cool, Neo. I like that. I respect that. <laughs> wow. Wow. So you didn't even bother. Like, not only did you acknowledge that the track name you picked was really lazy, but you literally just did one, two, and three. And I really like that because when I got to No Man's Sky, you had the ability when you discovered a planet for the first time, you got to name it. And that's exactly what I did. I just like, Fat Shady Live 1, Fat Shady Live 2, Fat Shady Live 3. Because <laughs> Oh, so is, so what? What's the d? I mean, cause bist. I don't know how to pronounce it, but like that's cause that's that's what that's track. So don't 
Don't do the ninja because it has a problem? Oh, okay. Alright, well, I'm going number one. Let's go. Neo. And I'll say, it's a brave person. Oh, by the way, firstly, bonjour. Um, but it's a brave person that jumps in on my chat and says, play my tracks. Because you're I, you're really going to get um, either positive or negative or no feedback. To be honest, it could be anything. But I like I like the fact that you're brave enough. I like it. It's weird too. I think I was far more sort of diplomatic. And now I'm probably sharing a little bit more of my opinions. I don't like that you use the tutorial thing in it at all. Oh, what? I gotta go under. Yeah, okay. I was like, how do I make that? Um, alright, I don't like your lighting, or the fog, it, it feels overdone. Otherwise, your obstacle is pretty cool. Oh, alright, your flags are kind of floating in midair. Again, I still don't know how to create them too well. Can we search for track name empty? Yeah, let's do that next. I mean, I haven't faulted. Yeah, I think they called my track, aren't they? Because that's how I know what the French word for track is. Because it's like ma piste or something. your first track all right all right i can't be i can't be too critical then oh, oh oh actually go and play my first track actually my first my first track is the overhangs tutorial in this game in fusion i think i put out about three tracks and i'm pretty sure it was called like junior trials track one junior trials two or something I'm all about maintaining the brand. Make it, make it, make it. I want to ask what part of France you're from. But unless it's Paris, I can't really talk about much. So, I'll just say, I don't know. I think the uh, first word I learned when I got to France was bonjour. The second and third word was jambon and fromage. Because I wanted to eat and I really like ham and cheese. So you gotta have your priorities right. I, say, I, I got all the way to the top of that and then faulted. No. You know what? Oh, whoa. Wow. So really, Dexter, help people. Uh, I still don't know. Yeah, I learned that before. Yes, no. What's the point of knowing yes and no if you don't understand the question? I mean, honestly, the the best thing you can do as a tourist in a foreign foreign language, like foreign speaking, or in a country that doesn't speak language you is native to you, it's not a foreign language to them. They live there. Um, you just point at food and nod your head. And like, 
Like, that's it. And you realize they can speak English? You're like, oh, I'm sorry. I think I went, I went into a, like a Finnish shop one time and tried to like use my best Finnish pronunciation of words. And she's like, uh, yeah, that'd be like six bucks. <laughs> like perfect English. Like, I'm so, I was, I'm just trying. Shut up. But they're like, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, cool. Thanks, man. But I don't have time for this crap. Why? Why, Neo? Why? So my question, Neo, is did you think this jump was fun? Because if you did, then cool. If you want to give me a tip on what technique you propose I use here. Because if it's that, that's way too hard. Oh, check. Was this seriously a sign behind the track? Seriously? I did not see it. I gotta watch a replay. I feel... I feel... Kinda like an idiot, but also... Pretty much on brand for just being lazy and stubborn. See, this is my problem. I'm... I'm honestly... Honestly not paying attention to anything. In either. To be like... I'm barely reading chat while also barely paying attention to the game. Wow. Actually, have you seen the um Oh, it's a it's a it's a video to talk about sort of people's perception where there's like uh basketball players and like white jerseys and blue jerseys and you gotta count how many times the team in the white jersey passes the ball. But what the actual so spoilers, but the actual purpose of the video is to show how you can trick your mind into not seeing certain things at the end of the video it's like alright who saw the gorilla and you're like what what gorilla there's no gorilla and yeah sure enough there's a gorilla that walks right through the video and the vast majority of people will not see the gorilla because they're focused on the task at hand and that's exactly what just happened there so this sign is a gorilla so was this better oh good question uh, yeah easily better than spoon easily better Oh, I didn't even see that. I saw none of these signs. Like that sign there is, I'm seeing that for the first time right now. Genuinely did not see it. Wow. I'm sorry, Neo. I'm a... Well, actually, no. I'm probably exactly what you expect from a, a non-French person. Wow, look at that. Wow, it's almost like you anticipated that this is going to be a challenge for people and gave them tips. For somebody that likes people giving writing tips to others, um, I'm an idiot. That's fair. All right, Rip Louie. Play something in the background on my updated Deja Vu track. I wonder if you would notice that. I think you didn't play it. Mm. Maybe Twin Fire. Maybe Twin Fire. All right, I got a little bit left. In. I think I need to sleep. I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go skating in the morning. So I probably need to sleep. And I have to go early before, like... Capable people get there. Search sleep. See, that's a good one. That's a good one. It would be funny if this came up in like my search history. I guess I'll go the most recent one with no voices. Hmm. Let's do it. So I should also give a shout out to anybody out there right now that is watching, that is lurking, that is listening in, that is hanging out on their Friday and watching some trials, stuff happen. 
Firstly, go Niners, just because go Niners. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. What? So, you are well within your rights to continue to lurk, but let you know that I appreciate you all the same. Okay, this is kind of... this is kind of alright. I mean, difficult. Oh. Okay. Why is it? Oh, that guy just popped. That guy in the background is kind of spooky because he just popped in and out. Oh, wow. This is, uh. This is harder than, uh. What's the way of the machine? Really, Shadow? Fat Shade! Valkyrie. The dudes at the checkpoints, are you serious? No. That's creepy. Oh, come on, are you serious? Alright, that felt a little unfair because you didn't give me any warning that was going to happen. And you know how I feel about no warning on my tracks. Like, give me, give me a chance to pass it when I get through the hard part. This is actually a challenge. I'm an idiot. No, it's not. It'll land on your front wheel. It'll land on your front wheel like any other consecutive bunny hop type thing. Wow, the dude's the checkpoints. I like that. Uh, what was the next? What was the next? What was the next? Penrose. All right, we got you. I got you. Penrose, let's go. That one was all right. Short, but all right. Oops. So the extreme... Oh, Zach one, yeah? Uh, what are we talking? Extreme or Ninja? Extreme, I guess. Let's go. Extreme. Extreme it is, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, damn, I ain't doing fours. I have no body. I have two legs. I have two legs. That was a weird glitch. Wow, Zach. What is wrong with you? Wow. See, all right. Earlier in this stream, I floated the, I floated the idea 
of us being able to effectively tip our track creators, right? I play this right now. I should be able to send a few bits of sorts. Send a couple of bucks across to Zach and just be like, dude, I really loved your work. We should. I know you think about it. If everyone that played, like, if like, whenever I play a track and my jaw just drops, and I'm like, oh my god, this is incredible. We should be able to do that, right? So my suggestion was we have a centralized place on Discord or somewhere else with track creators to put their like, like official donation links, and if we choose to, you can go there and just say thanks. Send them a message. Send them a little donation and just say thanks, mate, because I don't think I don't think people get enough. And I mean, look, they, they can get recognition, but, you know, send them a couple of bucks. It's a coffee or something, right? For most. So, yeah, I, I'm on a bit of a mission of sorts. To, uh, yeah, show some love to our very talented and very generous with their time track creators. So at a minimum, send a message to someone. So I'm gonna, I want to send something to Zach. What's this called? Penrose. But if anyone speaks to him, tell him. Fan, like honestly, jaw dropped. Artistically, this is spectacular. Like, here, here we go. So actually, uh, how do I tear? Oh, I'll do it in the replay. I want this to be my um, my thumbnail because this is beautiful. And I don't often say that about trials tracks. This is something like I hadn't seen before. If it's been done before, apologies. We're giving Zach all the credit, but it's just really cool. It's really well done. Yeah, I've, I've look. I I always like Sw Swell's done something because Swell did the. Cube, was it the cube one or lines or something? It was like a really simple but a really cool uh, concept that was just executed really well. Oh, I saw that late. How, 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 how? Like that. So Shadow Walker, was this your suggestion? Wow, man, that's that's deep and a lot smarter than I'm capable of. Zach is nuts. Wow. That is properly, properly beautiful. Uh, let's go watch replaying your thumbnail. Because that is nice. I could just take pictures of this for days. Oh, is that their Penrose stairs, are they? I want to get a good shot with the background in it. Get the fast forward a bit. See me faulting on all this nonsense. It's 
funny. I didn't even realize like I had this many mistakes because I was enjoying the track too much. Oh, there's the stairs in the background. Wow. Like that, I'm sorry, that, that is spectacular. Um, I want to finish on that note because I feel like anything else that I play right now is going to be a massive disappointment. Everybody go out and play Penrose and send Zach a message and then go and spend some time in Banana Shire. Oh, Banana Shire. <coughs> that was absolutely a highlight. Uh, oh, Swells. Welcome to my workshop. What? 42 hours. What? 42 hours stream. You have no problems. Anyway, let's go send him some love, I guess. I think you need some moral support. Uh, we're going to go raid. Some moral support. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, we're going to We're going to raid Swell. And I'm going to say thank you so much. Um, if you uh, have them, uh, yellow shady hoodies in the chat. If you don't, it's all good. But go and say hi to Swell. Spread some love around the Trials community. Give Swell a follow if you don't already. And most importantly, everybody out there that's watching this right now, the next time you play a track that genuinely makes your jaw drop, when fantastic. you see something as fantastic as this, Mr. Gaming, Gaming, Gaming DJ, I just realized, graduated. Congratulations on the graduation. You need a hat. And you need a few spins, but I can't tell how many spins to give you. So give me a second. Seven. Seven. One, two. I gotta be quick. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So the message here is send a message to a track creator that you respect and have appreciated their work. I don't care if it's Hill 14 or whatever the hell that track was called. I don't care. Send a message to someone and just say thank you for contributing to this awesome Track Central space because honestly, that is beautiful. I'm literally, I'm going to get off chat right now. I'm going to go hang out with Swell for a second and I'm going to type a message to Zach and tell him I appreciate his work. So there you go. Done. I'm out of here. Let's go and raid Swell. Yellow Shady Hoodies. Let's do it. Join in with me. I'm just filling in time for six more seconds until we can actually get across to the chat. All right. I'm out. Same time next week. I'll be back. Bye.